Well, I'm in the process of getting ready for the outdoor archery season here in Minnesota. Just picked up the new X-Focus uh, Acromat doublet uh, lens from X-Focus, uh, as I said. And I just, I, I've been using the ultra view scope for a while, for a little over a year now. And notice right away, and if you look at some reviews, you'll notice this, you'll see that this lens is a little thicker. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about and just show how it, how it goes into the, the cartridge for the ultra view. Now the standard ultra view lens, it's about two and a half millimeters in diameter. This is a standard uh, four power uh, 0.5 diopter uh, ultra view lens used last year. I used this is what I used last year for field and feta uh, archery. And that goes in just fine. It drops into the um, the cartridge. You know the the O ring can, is you know pretty easily goes goes into position pretty straight away, and you're you're good to go with that. The X focus lens just a little a uh, little thicker. It's closer to about three millimeters or so. So it's not a lot thicker, uh, but you know this this um, the the groove here. And the O-ring, the size of the O-ring, does make it a little bit of a tighter fit. It, it definitely works. But I love this lens, and I love the technology behind this lens. You know, as a guy who used to be um, a physics teacher, you know, we've all seen probably the picture of a prism, uh, some light going through a piece of glass at, a, at, a, at an angle. And we've seen how that light uh, refracts through the glass uh, to differing degrees, depending on the wavelength of the constituent light. If you pass a white light through, you're going to get that split, the rainbow colored split. And you'll see the different colors split. And the reason they do is because different wavelengths of light uh, are affected. They're refracted to different degrees when they pass through something like glass. So, <clears throat> you know, with a standard lens, a standard archery lens it's, that is one piece of glass, uh, you know, you will see... And although in, in the better lenses do a great job of this, it is possible to see some fuzziness. And, and some of that comes from a process called chromatic aberration, where chromatic, which is, uh, refers, chromatic is related to the word color, our word, of, our word for color. And when those colors split ever so slightly, you will see some slight differences in color. And, and that uh, it's almost imperceptible sometimes, but it will be perceived as fuzziness. And so what X-Focus has done with this lens is they've combined two different uh, elements, even though they're, they're fused together here and they appear as one lens, which is, this is also almost a completely planar lens. There's very little curvature, hardly if any, that you can tell. It's pretty much a planar lens. But this, what X-Focus does here is they use the same technology that uh, any manufacturer of high-end camera lenses or telescopes or binoculars use where they're not, they're not just using one single lens to uh, enlarge an image. They're using a series of lenses. And by using a series of lenses, they can um, bend and refract those colors and keep them together and reduce, greatly reduce the amount of chromatic aberration coming through a lens. So what you get is an even sharper image. So this lens, even though it's thicker, it does, it does fit. Um, you can drop right into the cartridge as usual. And the O-ring, it fits too. It's uh, it's tighter, <laughs> you know, it's a little bit more uh, of a squeeze to get it in there. But you know, <laughs> like I said, it's it's a little more of a battle, like uh, squeezing a balloon a little bit. Squeeze one side and the other side pops out. But there you go, it does work. And so, you know, it's in there. The, the lens is in there, it's not gonna go anywhere. This cartridge can can go into your scope and and you're in business uh, just like before. So check this out. I, I'm really excited to shoot this lens. Boy, it, the clarity is impress, impressive. Um, I haven't put a dot on it yet, but I'm about to do that as I'm setting up my new bow. And uh, I'm excited to use this lens for outdoor season this year. So there you go. Uh, don't hesitate to get that Acromat doublet lens. It will fit in your archery cartridge, in your, in your UltraView cartridge. And uh, check it out. It's, it's spendy but it, I think it's gonna be uh, probably the best lens out there and I'm looking forward to trying it. That's it for now.